Killian Henderson Harris, Richard Tucker Grice, stars of the runaway success Working Class Lives. Guys, what's the journey been like? Uh, well, myself, uh, Richard, and writer director Julian Parker Gagan uh, trained at RADA together, and uh, I think I just got the part of Chrissy because I was the only one amongst us who'd actually spent any time with a working class fella. <laughs> uh, we had one doing kind of odds and, and pieces for us in the holiday home, but I think he electrocuted himself in the end or something. Well, I suppose you could say he's, he's living on through you, through Chrissy. I mean, when Julian first approached me to play the role of Da, I thought, well, surely I'm, I'm a bit too young to do it convincingly. But as Julian quite rightly said, as is the case with your electrocuted odd jobs man, a lot of these people are having kids in their early teens and, and mm. they're dead by 40. Mm. So, you know, it's real early man stuff. Uh, I had no idea how they lived. And I think that's actually why Julian put us through our paces. Um, you know, he had us eating out of chip pans, uh, fist fighting, uh, throwing tires. You know, just general kind of whistle as you work, horseplay. Mm. I think we even ate crack at one point, didn't mm. we? Mm. And did you actually hang out with any working class people? <laughs> God, no. <laughs> uh, no. No, not safe. Um, what Julian did was he got a lot of our classmates from RADA to play chavs and effectively create a working class simulation mm. for us to immerse ourselves in, but safely, you know. It, Julian's incredible. You know, like Julian actually hears the voices of the working class in his head and I'm like, is that not terrifying? <laughs> you know, um, and, and, and kind of garbled. But of course, uh, it, Jules is like, kill, that's the whole point. Like a lot of these people, they, they, they don't read, they don't write, um, a lot of them can't even talk. And he was saying, if we don't tell their story for them, that story remains untold. You okay, mate? I suppose it really hit home for me. Uh, I was on Oxford Street the other week and uh, one of them came up to me, real kind of weather-beaten face. He even called me Da. He said, Da, working class lives, it's so real. I'm sure that's what he said.